Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel now today. We're reacting to another clip from Would I Lie To You and this one is mystery guest Edward recommended to me by Calm Brandt one or Car MB Brandt one One of them too, but yeah, thank you very much for the recommendation. And guys, it seems like all we're getting nowadays are mystery guests, which I'm not complaining about. It's my favourite concept of this show because as I've said, instead of one person, you've got three different stories and there's usually one which is pretty normal and you've got a crazy one and one in the middle and you have to guess. I really do enjoy these concepts and you guys seem to like them as well which is perfect. But yeah guys very much looking forward to getting into this and if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the reaction. And Welcome here we go guys. Edward. Here we are. Edward. Robert, what is Edward to you? Uh, this is Edward, and I had such a crush on him at school that for the past 20 years, his name has been the basis for all of my passwords. Okay, sure, <laughs> so, sure. Please, Judge Rinder. <laughs> this is Edward, and he helped me pick up my car and move it after I got blocked in by Daley Thompson. And finally, Understood, e, okay. What is your relationship with Edward? This is Edward. I once dressed up as his wife <laughs> so that his son would think that he'd seen his mum in the audience at the school play. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> is Edward Robert's childhood crush, Denise's car carrier, mm. or Lee's Hope's husband? David's team, where to begin? Where Robert. to begin? Uh, so were you school buddies together? Not especially because um, Edward was terribly good at sport, you see. I seem to remember Edward being terribly good at the pole vault. OK, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How are you still in touch with Edward? Uh, well, we're not. I haven't seen Edward for a number of years. How is he doing, do you think? Would you still? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Richard, mate. Take it easy, son. <laughs> That is my fake husband, I have. <laughs> there you go. I, I'd say he's definitely moved into a new bracket. All right, sure. Yeah, sure. A very happy one. Yeah. Yes, he's doing, he's doing very well, I'd say. You know, very, very well indeed. <laughs> now, you said you haven't seen him for a number of years. No, number Specifically, of years. when was the last time you saw him? The last time I would have seen him would probably be 1993 or 94. 1993? 1993. But there wasn't the need for passwords until around the year 2000. Well, yes, but they then came in, and I thought, what would be more marvellous than having Edward as the basis of my passwords? Is he still the basis of your password? No comment. No what comment. Say, <laughs> is that, um, I spent a long time, and I was bored, looking for him on Facebook and that mm. sort of thing. And We've on all one done occasion, it. Um, I found him and, and messaged him, and there was no reply. And oh, I was very that's upset horrible. About that. <laughs> and I always wondered what happened to him. And now I see. <laughs> I'm struggling with this because uh, this is a thing that is done. I had a crush on a boy in school, and his name is the basis for my passwords as mm. well. And I've been trying to stalk him on Facebook, <clears throat> but he doesn't back. exist. He's not on Facebook, which makes him even sexier. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying this is... So you've got that exact story? Very plausible. Yeah, this is my story. His name's Luke Mate. Do you know him? <laughs> no, you Mate. don't. Because he was yeah, like... Yeah, he lives two doors down from me. Single, newly single. No. Yeah. He works for Medicine Sans Frontier. As, he's a human rights lawyer, no. but works really <laughs> <laughs> He takes six months a year off because he runs a, a, a place for, for distressed puppies. Oh, he sounds incredible. He's a good guy. You know what? I literally just set him up with someone last week. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh, that's a great thing. Great guy, head of a All guy. right, who would you like to... Uh, it's very plausible. Who would you like yeah. to quiz next? Right, and that's why all of my passwords are Claudia Winkleman 1. But, um, no, what do we think of this one, guys? Judge Rinder. <sighs> Judge Rinder. Well, if your passwords still do contain the word Edward, I'd up your security. You're at risk of a brute force attack, but, <laughs> but no. Um, do I think this is possible? It is. It is very possible to have it in. He says he hasn't seen him for about 23 years now. So, I don't know. Hmm. 
He is an he's he's an attractive man, Edward. He's um he's he's got some stuff about him which I could um understand um Judge Rinder or Robert Rinder liking. It is one of those things where it could be true, and as Catherine said, she did it as well. I'm I'm very indifferent about this. I don't know. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, Denise, um, explain what happened with Edward in the car and Daley Thompson. Yes, so I was parked uh, in the car park at a stadium. Which stadium? Mm -hmm. Birmingham, Alexander Stadium in Birmingham. And Which car park? So, like, you had just to... VI VIP. Okay. It's probably the Denise Lewis car park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you own a car in Birmingham, you're automatically a VIP anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry if any of you guys live in Birmingham. <laughs> so I'm in the car park, went off to work, um, had a big national championships, came back out, desperate to get back down to London, and my car was blocked, blocked in. That was Daily Thompson. He's smiling. That was Daily Thompson. Yeah. Well, hang on, how do we know? Let's, let's take it straight. What happens next? Well, Eddie, mm -hmm. he's an, an official. Right. You know, he used to be an athlete, because he's well stacked. What was his sport? Mm -hmm. He was actually a thrower. Of what? Discus. Uh, sorry, discus. You're a, discus. You actually, discus. You're a BBC commentator and you called him a thrower. A thrower. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. So he's a thrower of the incredibly heavy frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used to, he used to compete at um, yeah. national level. Okay. Didn't quite yeah. make it. Yeah. Didn't quite oh, make right. it. It's not oh, right. easy to get here. to the top. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. Um, that's so, that's such so, a show-off thing to do. I'm, well, I'm sorry. Just, a little bit, a little really bit. hard to be an amazingly good athlete. <laughs> some, some people can do it, some people yeah. can't do it, Eddie, I'm but... sorry. So there you are, Denise. You're, you're, you're blocked in. Eddie Edward is there because he's an official. He used to throw things. <laughs> when does Daly come into it? Mm. Well, his has a private registration plate and I didn't he's notice got, he's that. He's one of those people yes. daily, what does it say? DT10. Daily. DT10. DT10. Of course, Of course. Of course. <laughs> I, need, I need to get out of here quickly. Yes. Can you help? Yes. He said, let me go and get some of these other throwers. They said, listen, if we manoeuvre this car, swing the back out a little bit, you should be able to manoeuvre around Daly's mm. car. So you never okay. met, I'm sure you have met Daly Thompson, but he mm. never turned up during the anecdote. Couldn't find him anywhere. But it's only when I came back to the car did I realise it was his car because of the number plate. But you were yeah. looking for him before that. <laughs> no, just to say, the person I need to talk you to now is Daley Thompson, because it's someone who understands a parking crisis. <laughs> it's Daley Thompson. Can you just check if you two met? Because you need a really good defence lawyer. No, I do. <laughs> Can you continue? Yes, please do. So he came to my aid. Yeah. And helped me manoeuvre the car. Yeah. And away I went. Away you went, and, and Daley Thompson turned up presumably later. I don't know, because I didn't see him. You didn't see have him. Have you seen him since? Yeah. Yes. And have Did you he mentioned the story to him? Yes. And, OK, that checks out. And that's what that's did what he say? Do. Yeah, that's what did he say? Yeah. Oh, shut up. <gasps> he said, oh, shut yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've known Daley a long time. One of the first things he said to me at the age of 14... Yeah. Um, he called look me... Look after this bear. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> nice, Richard, nice. <laughs> all right, now, yeah. now, of course, perhaps the most plausible of all is yet to... Uh, <laughs> just remind us, Lee. This right, is... so what do we think of um, Denise Lewis's story? So uh, she goes back out of the championship, Birmingham car park, and uh, her car's been blocked in by Daley Thompson, DT10, probably a nice Aston Martin or something. Um... Eddie gets involved, gets a couple more of his discus throwers, who are called throwers, to move the car out, and she goes out. See, this is the story out of the three which I believe is normal. And more often than not, it's not the normal one. It's like, they're not normal as in it's like, oh, I went from A to B. It's like, it's got a bit of stuff to it, but it's, com it's plausible, it's very plausible. The same did go for Rob Rinder's crush, which is making me think if Lee's one is crazy, which by the title hoax husband, it could be this. I don't know. I'm, I'm indecisive as well. But yeah, let's see what Lee has to say. Edward, I once dressed as his wife, so his son would think he'd seen his mum 
Right. Whilst performing in the school play. What yeah. was the play? <laughs> it was actually a nativity play. OK. And what was Edward's son playing? Edward's son was playing Joseph. Were Edward's your son. children in the play? My children were not in the play. It would have been inappropriate due to the fact that they don't go to that school. So you went... <laughs> You went to a school where your children are not enrolled, dressed as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> trick a little boy into thinking you were his mom. Yeah. Well, when you say it like that, Catherine... It does sound a bit dodgy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lee, let's go back to the beginning. How did this come about? How did Edward approach you? So, Edward was, uh, Edward was at the school, and apparently he, he got a phone call off his wife saying that uh, she couldn't make it. Now, his wife had already missed three or four big events. You know, all the mm. big ones that are important, like the sports days and the various things. And this was sort of like, I promise you, I'm going to be there. I promise you I'll do mm. this one. So why, think, why wasn't she there? Well, something to do with work, something got... got, got What's her work? I didn't get a chance to get into too many details. Ed Edward rang in a panic. Absolutely panic, anyway. What's her, what's, what's her job? What's the wife's job? <laughs> yes. I actually don't know his wife very well. But do you no, know him? Well, so, but he, Hello, he, Edward, yeah. You're the first person he'd call, though, but you don't know his... That's right, because okay. me and him do lots of things behind his wife's back, and he knows that... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And what did he say? He was panicking, though. Lee! I went, what? He said, she's not turned up again. I said, who? He said, my wife. I said, what does she do for a living? He said, not now. <laughs> <laughs> you cleared yourself said, there, mate. Well done. <laughs> he said, I need your help, and I need it quickly. Yeah. I said, you mm. know me, I'll always be there for you. He says, I need you to meet me at my house. So I get to the you house, there. I run in the house, yeah. and he only had time for one phrase. Put this on. <laughs> he said, I need, you to, I need you to dress as my wife, because last time I went to see him in a play, she didn't turn up. And, and, and I said, but you saw me, right? And he said, the kid said, no, I didn't see, because the spotlights are so bright. You just, everyone's just like right. a silhouette. So, I see. He said, he said, that's how I think you can get away with this. I want you to dress as my wife, and then when, when he looks out, he'll think that, that you're, you're with me. Did he notice your beard? <laughs> that is the, what I've been thinking this whole way through. Now, as luck would have it, I don't know what his wife does, but she has a beard. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> I don't know exactly what she does. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was very well dodged, Lee. <laughs> it was, it was. At the time, I did not have a beard. Oh, right? you were clean which, shaven. Yes, yeah. which is what, why he was annoyed, because, like I say, she does. Did you? <laughs> does she have a very distinctive silhouette? She does. I would describe her silhouette as Lee Mac esque. Sure. I could describe her. Did you have to wear a wig? Uh, no, that I was my next question. Because luckily, his wife has very short hair. And a beard. And a beard. Mm. <laughs> Well, so you just went with your head, just went with, shaven, I, went, but, yeah. I just went with, with her silhouette look, but and you with a hat. In a dress. What did you wear? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you haven't told us. That's what Jesus! <laughs> you told us what you Phil Mitchell in the audience. So bedroom. He had all, all the things were about. All what, the he got a range for you to choose? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? He said, "This is what she would, she, we could get. This is the stuff that the kid would recognise." So we went. We went with a long Macintosh. <laughs> sure. What's What's Edward's son called? Edward's son is called uh, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I think you've made. Of, 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 <laughs> well, and then Australia. after the after the play, that lovely bit where. The kids mm. excited to go and meet with their parents again yes, and say, this, How was it? That mm. was the bit How that we were worried about. Daddy? Yes, that is. <laughs> I, 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 it's like they're reading my mind. I said to him, You're going to have to totally commit to this. And so we're now married. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we ran away. And the wife doesn't know where we are. And this is the first time she would have known about it. We, we, I... um, we, we actually we stood at the back. And as he walked towards us, I sort of turned around, walked quickly, and sort of waved like that. And he I ran see. away from him. Yes. <laughs> and apparently, Big Ed said to me afterwards, he said, I just had to say, oh, Mummy's got to get back quickly. She's, uh, she's, well, I don't know what she does for a living. He didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need an answer. So, David's team, is Edward Robert? Right, what do we think of Lee's story? Now, pretty much everything that was going through my head, they were going to ask. I was going to be like, did you need to wear a wig? He said, no, she has white hair. Um, she has short hair, sorry, I get that. Um, he shaved his beard. He wore a long Macintosh and in the silhouette, 
I can understand that you can't see them that well, but I've, I've been in a couple of plays, like back, back in the day, obviously, and I can sort of tell who's in the audience to some extent. It's not pitch black and just me. But, um, yeah, and then the end of the story, that was the whole bit when he was going to see the mum, the kid after the play. Um, he just walks off. That was the one thing I was concerned about. I thought, is he just going to leave? Is he going to pretend he is the mum and something's gone wrong? Oh, guys, I'm really torn about this. I'm really torn about this. Um, I don't think it is Lee Max one. I think that's just too crazy. I... There's so, the, the security, like, I don't believe that. Judge Rinder, what is it that you're doing, mate? The password. Um, I don't know whether he'd go in front and um, front a big part of his password on TV. Could be lying. When he said, is that you're still your password? So he said no comment, he could have changed it all. Um, and then Denise Lewis's car carrier. You know what? I'm going to say it's Denise Lewis's car carrier. He looks like the sort of guy who'd um, who'd throw the discus. He could move a car. I don't believe Lee's. It, I'm going to go for Denise Lewis's car carrier. That's what I'm going to say it is. Childhood crush, Denise's car carrier, or Lee's hoax husband? Mm. Well, it's... Mm. Well, I mean, Lee, it... Lee was fairly convincing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, isn't it? What do you think? I feel like when Denise was telling her story, Edward was smiling a little bit more. Look at him. Look at mm. his feet. <laughs> um, gosh, it's difficult, isn't it? I'm tempted to say mm. Robert. Mm. Okay. You think Robert? And... I'm really torn. I would say Denise, but I just don't know because I was wrong once already. Need okay, yeah. time to make a decision, David. Who's it going to be? Oh, right. So you, but you think it's Denise now? If you two think it's Denise, that's great. I can opt out. If you both think it's Robert, mm. that's great. I can opt out. If you both think it's Lee, I'm overruling you. <laughs> 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 the we offer stands. Robert. If it's Lee, I'm eating the Robert. box of tissues. If this does turn out to be true, you do realise we're about to witness Quite a moment. Mm. Mm. So, absolutely. Edward, would you please reveal your true identity? I am Edward, and I am I was Robert's Whoa! inspiration for a password. Oh my God! And the reunion. Oh, Robert, he looks he looks so shy. Oh, that's heartwarming. Would you like to say anything to Edward, Robert? I could dress up as you and fill in. I'm <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say to him? Here's your chance. <laughs> He's lost it. He's hysterical. <laughs> oh, mate, that is nice. Y yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Hello, Edward. Hi. <laughs> well done. You really kept it together. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you realise that Robert had this crush on you? No, not at all. Oh, oh must have done. what a lovely evening this is for you. Then. <laughs> Thank you very much, Edward. Guys, that is so sweet. Are they going to handshake or? Hard to tell. <laughs> but no, that is heartwarming. Having a nice reunion, that's beautiful. But one thing I will say, Judge Rinder. You need, if that is still your password, be careful. <laughs> be very careful. <laughs> but no, that is. Um, this was a great clip, guys. This was um, one where all three of them were believable to an extent. Lee's one was crazy, but it wasn't Bob Mortimer crazy. It was something which could have happened. And then you had Denise and um, Judge Rinder. Guys, this was, yeah, I, it's so nice to see that at the end, actually, because, like, he looked so shy, he looked really, um, not embarrassed, but he looked happy to see it, and that, yeah, that's re it's always nice when those things happen, but, yeah, thank you very much for the recommendation, and as per usual, if you guys have any more recommendations, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you guys maybe later or tomorrow for the next video. Peace.